we have to kill a lion to be a moral. Yes, I kill it to protect the Maasai property. Also the elephants, the culture forced me to do that. We don't do that anymore. When I see lion now, I see like benefit to all Kenyans. I was doing bushwalk more than eight years now. I'm very proud when I see the tourists come and visit Kenya. But in this moment now, no job because there's because of coronavirus. No bushwalk, no guest because of COVID-19. If there is no tourism, no conservation. Poaching has increased because most people now are jobless. Personally, I was a farmer. I loved elephants so much, but they pained me when they, they eat my farm and um, it hurted. But when I was employed as a ranger, we came together with the community to mitigate uh, the conflict. COVID is affecting conservation. More funds are dedicated to counter this COVID. And the poachers are still there and reinforcement is still needed to stop them. And with no funds, this will be more difficult. When people say the planet's healing, the reality is the impacts of COVID are actually quite serious for wildlife. So revenues are no longer flowing. People don't have money to buy food. Or the people who live closest to wildlife, they are the first line of defense. And what we're concerned about is people get more and more desperate. There may be more of a temptation to encroach on these areas just to meet their basic needs. The UN Environment Program is actually working right now with a number of countries around the world to expand their wildlife economies. For wildlife conservation to work, people have to benefit and enjoy um, nature. I. I'm a community ranger, born and lived around this area. So I know where the poachers come from, where the hotspot, where the animals are disturbing people. Uh, with my income, I can educate my, my sibling, maybe my brothers. And as we educate them, they see the importance of conserving and they like it because um, it's our heritage it will actually provide for us.